Alrighty, let's take a look at this oddball question. So you'll notice they don't give you any equations, and yet they're asking you to find f g prime at 2. So let's focus on the f g part. That's basically multiplication. And if we're trying to find the derivative of something being multiplied, what we would do is use our product rule. So f times g prime would be, so remember product rule, the first times the derivative of the second, so f times g prime, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so g f prime. And then what you do is just simply write, incorporate the at 2 part. So I, I basically run through and change everything. So f at 2, and then that's times g prime at 2, plus g at 2, times f prime at 2. All right, and now all that stuff they gave us in the question starts to make sense why they gave that. So f at 2, they gave in the question, is 3. g prime at 2, that would be this one, negative 4. So that first term becomes 3 times negative 4. Plus, then g at 2 was given as negative 1. f prime at 2 was given as 5. So that becomes negative 1 times 5. All right, now it's just simple elementary school math. Negative 12 minus 5, negative 17. And that should do it. And there we go. Hope that helped.